What we have here is a nice example of a mid-80s Mini with the 998 high compression motor. My goal today is to get this Mini to pass a fairly strict emissions test as well as make it drivable in the mountains. So let's get right in and see where we get on this car. Upon initial inspection of this Mini, I started with checking the high tension leads, which are, were a resistive type, so essentially a set of factory leads. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the overall resistance of the ignition system was not too high. And by checking the leads, I realized right away that I needed to run non-resistive spark plugs to keep the total resistance down. Uh, plugs in this case are the BP6ES. Now, the previous owner had fitted high power epoxy coil. And because of that high power system, it meant that I could run 35,000 plug gaps with these NGK plugs. So go ahead and gapped them 35,000. And after that, I started checking initial timing. Uh, one thing I noticed that the timing marks were quite erratic for a fairly fresh distributor system. So I removed the distributor cap and found that the rotor itself was uh, poor quality and, and the, the actual rotor arm was a bit loose. So I went ahead and replaced that with a high quality rotor arm and then rechecked the timing. The timing was found to be quite flat. And by flat, I mean the timing went from 17 to 29 degrees total, which is 12 degrees of advance, which was not enough for this car. Additionally, the carburetors themselves were not set up properly for vacuum advance. They were using manifold vacuum, not ported vacuum. And by using manifold vacuum, this car would have full vacuum advance at idle. And that was not helping its emissions problems at all. So after checking the ignition system, I then moved on to seeing what I could do with the mixture. I found that this car, I could only idle it down to uh, 0.95 Lambda. That was as clean as I could get with the car air leaks at the throttle shafts. Now, the emissions limit on this car was 0.97, which is about 1.2% carbon monoxide. So, as lean as I could get it, I couldn't get it below the strict test for a mid-80s Mini, which meant that I needed to replace the carb with a freshly rebuilt unit to control the air leaks, as well as uh, replace the distributor so that I have better ignition advance characteristics. More importantly about the distributor, I needed to have somewhere between 8 and 10 degrees of advance at idle in order to achieve the emissions uh, test. So we replaced the distributor with one that I had curved for a high compression 998. It was timed at 8 degrees and produced 31 degrees at 4,500 RPMs. Ultimately, I think I added two more degrees as the cars seemed to withstand the timing. Now, I'm at high altitude, so we add a few extra degrees to compensate for our lack of air. The uh, car was replaced by one that AC Dot had rebuilt, so air leakage was very, very minimal at the throttle shafts, and it was re-drilled for the correct ported vacuum. Once I've done all that, I was able to retest everything, and this is, again, using a brand new needle and... Uh, my first check was to find out how lean could this car go before it would miss. And what I noticed is that at idle, 1.05 was the lean mixture limit, which was excellent because, uh, you know, the, the emissions test was 0.97 and I was achieving 1.05. So I had some room to work with in making this car run really nicely. Now, at idle, it was 1.05. However, up to 5,000 RPMs, it reached 1.2. And anything above 2,000 RPMs, it really didn't want to drive. So I had to switch over to doing a needle profile for this car because I didn't have any other needles that would improve the three to 5,000 range. So I went ahead and custom profiled this needle. After profiling the needle, it was then time for a test drive. Alrighty, uh, this Mini is owned by a man named Mike. There's Mike. Hi. Uh, Mike, would you uh, would you give us a description of how the Mini was running um, before? It was running okay, but it was just run out of gas at 3,000 or 3,500 RPM. You couldn't go anymore. That was pretty much it. All right, and uh, we've just done a bunch of tuning, so 
Mike's gonna go out for a test drive and uh, see what he thinks and we'll see what his reaction's like when he comes back. All right, so Mike has uh, returned from his trip, so I wanted to see what he has to say. What do you think, Mike? He's got a smile on his face. I <laughs> have a fun little car that I can ride around in now. <laughs> it's night and day from where it was before. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, I'm glad we could uh, get it sorted out for you. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I'll see you in the mountains then. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can actually go into the mountains now. I think I can make it up the hills. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks for getting me out. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming out here and doing this, especially coming out to the house. <laughs> well, I hope you guys found that video useful and informative. If you have a mini that needs tuning and you happen to be in Colorado or wherever, please get in touch. I may be able to help. And if you appreciated that video, let me know if you have ideas for future videos or uh, additional ideas for me to produce videos on. So get in touch in the comments below or reach out directly to me. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.